Hey there YouTube, what's going on? Mike from the Hardcover Comic coming at you with another overview uh, talking about one of my most anticipated books of the year, Absolute Wonder Woman Volume 2 by Brian Azzarello, Cliff Chang, and Goran Suzuka. Um, I'm very, very excited that uh, I finally get to reread this series in uh, absolute format, man. I cannot wait. Oh, it looks... It's it, This is going to be the best. Um can't tell I'm a huge huge fan of this run let me get the book out and we'll talk some more all right as always beautiful uh, beautiful design um, you gotta love absolutes man they are the best um, but yeah this series is so so good got to meet Brian Azzarello at Planet Comic Con this year um, you know, I had the first absolute for him to sign, and Matt had his uh, custom bind of the entire series. And Brian Azzarello talked, man. People say he doesn't like to talk, but we got him to. Um, we chatted up with him a little bit, told him how much we enjoyed the series. He he was thrilled at the bind. It's a pro tip for you guys. If you're going to cons and you want artists and writers to really get excited over your books, bring a custom bind, man. They will sketch on it, mostly. Some won't. Um, Matt will have to tell that story, but they get super excited. Anyway, we're talking about Wonder Woman. Phenomenal series. Um, the artwork is fantastic all the way throughout. Um, so, you know, we, we've got, showed you guys the table of contents. We've got, you know, each issue uh, numbered out here. But again, we've got this Sopranos, Game of Thrones sort of thing going on with uh, the gods of Olympus. Um, Orion's on the scene. It's... It, it's such, such a good series. It's one very long story. Um, you get introduced to a bunch of new characters. Characters die. Uh, yeah, there's... I mean, these are very different interpretations of, you know, the gods of Olympus. Like, that's Ares. Um, very different interpretations from the classical stuff we've seen in, like, Perez's Wonder Woman. Um, but, uh, you know what, it, this sort of stands alone since most of, uh, you know, the Wonder Woman stuff now in, in Rebirth is very different, but um, it's such a good series. It's such a great run that I'm going to be rereading for like the third time now. Um, so let's take a look at the binding here. You know, not the greatest, but not bad either. I mean, you're not going to have a hard time reading this thing. Um, so I'm just going to to try and jump ahead to the bonus content here because I really don't want to spoil much more of this. So we got some character design stuff. Awesome. Covers. Some uh, pencil to ink work. Very cool. Some variant covers here in the back. Awesome stuff, man. Oh, I'm so excited they did this. I'm so glad they did Absolutes for this series. Um, I think it deserves it. The artwork isn't, you know, like uh, Jim Lee, but uh, I still think it benefits from this format because it's so bright and it's got so much character behind it. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled to be able to reread this. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Seriously, check out this series if you haven't. Um, you really should do yourself that favor. Um, thanks for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. If you have any more questions, something I may have missed, uh, you know, it's possible, um, let me know. I'll answer it as soon as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Follow us on Twitter, at Hardcover Comic. Um, talk some, you know, comics, post new picture, post pictures of new releases, and, you know, fish uh, things we find on Amazon, you know, whatever. Whatever comes to mind. Um, but yeah, uh, Thanks for tuning in again, and until next time, this is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. You stay classy, Internet.